Aloha and welcome to another active tour travel adventure. Today we're on the big island of Hawaii and we are about to explore one of the prettiest islands in all of the Hawaiian islands. Let me apologize in advance for my poor pronunciation. Uh, much love to the Hawaiian people. Number one. The Waipio Valley is the largest and southernmost of seven valleys on the windward side of the Kohala Mountains. It is also known as the Valley of the Kings because it was once home to many early Hawaiian rulers, including King Kamalamala I. The view from the lookout is breathtaking, but really to get a sense of how amazing the valley is, you have to go down to the valley floor. You can take a tour, hike down, or if you have experience off-roading, you can take the one lane, 25% grade road down the mountain. On the way down, you pull over and give way to the cars coming up the mountain often having to look about three, four, five hundred feet ahead of you in order to give way to those cars. It was pretty magical. We saw some wild horses and they came up to us. They basically like surrounded the Jeep and stuck their heads in asking for food. It was pretty cool. Once the road levels out, you want to make a right and head towards the beach. If you go left, that's private property and you want to respect the locals. So there's a beautiful one mile stretch of black sand beach with a beautiful river coming right down the middle of it. You want to be careful for flash floods. Uh, you don't want to get caught down there and having to drive back up that mountain in the rain. Number two. At the heart of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park are two active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa, and they provide a glimpse into Mother Nature's destructive and creative forces. We visited the Kilauea Crater just after the 2018 eruption. Although many of the trails were closed, we were able to walk around the rim and witness how massive this crater really is. I recommend at a minimum stopping by steam vents and taking a stroll along the north rim. Along with the 2018 eruptions, the Big Island experienced many significant earthquakes, the largest of which was a magnitude 6.9. This area is full of wildlife, and we were able to see Hawaii's state bird, the Nene. A short drive on the crater rim road leads you to the southern rim of the Kilauea Crater. The crater is approximately 3,000 feet in diameter and 280 feet deep. Number three. Akaka Falls State Park is located 11 miles north of Hilo and features two beautiful waterfalls. This easy but hilly 0.4 mile hike takes you through the lush rainforest filled with wildflowers, bamboo, and ferns. Following the path in a counterclockwise direction, you make your way to a 100-foot Kahuna Falls, although you hear it more than you see it. Massive fig trees give plenty of shade on the trail, which helps counteract the long stretches of stairs that you have to climb. Your first glimpse of Akaka Falls draws you closer as you finally reach the falls and stream below. Akaka Falls is 442 feet tall and is the most famous waterfall on the island of Hawaii. There's a couple of other little waterfalls on the way to the trailhead. Parking is $5 unless you're Kama'aina and then it's free. Number 4. The Manta Ray Night Dive is the most popular night dive in the world and has been on my bucket list for decades. The trip starts out with a quick boat ride to the dive site, just parallel to the Kona Airport. With the aid of dozens of flashlights, plankton is drawn to the area, which is what manta rays feed on. Divers sit at the bottom of the ocean, about 45 feet, and surround a campfire of flashlights. On the surface, snorkelers hang on a flotation device, armed with its own flashlights. Seeing these majestic creatures up close and personal was an experience I highly recommend. If you're snorkeling, I do recommend that you go on a snorkel-only boat. That way you don't get seasick waiting 10 minutes for the divers to get out of the water. For an in-depth look in this dive and the black water dive, check out the link in the description. Number 5. Pululu Valley it is the northernmost of seven valleys that form the Kohala coastline. From the lookout, you get a glimpse of the coastline and cliffs that hide the other seven valleys. The Kohala Volcano is the oldest of five volcanoes that form the Big Island. This short but steep 1.2 mile round trip hike to the valley floor is well worth the effort. Once you get down to the valley floor, you're greeted with a lush landscape and a beautiful river running right through the middle of the beach. This wild coastline with a mix of black sand, black boulders, and crashing waves makes for a fantastic soundtrack. Number 6. Mount Ake is a massive dormant volcano that sits high at 13,803 feet, making it the highest point in the state of Hawaii. When measured from the ocean base, Mount Ake is the tallest mountain in the world, even higher than Mount Everest. You need a four-wheel drive vehicle to reach the top, and you want to bundle up because it gets really cold up there. 
Although the telescopes aren't for public use, I love stargazing at the top. In Hawaiian mythology, the peaks on the Hawaiian islands are sacred, so be sure to tread lightly and with respect. Number 7. Papakolia Beach, also known as the Green Sand Beach, is one of only two green sand beaches in the United States. However, reaching this beach is not easy. You'll have to drive to the southernmost tip of the United States, then you'll need to hike, ride in the back of a truck, or four-wheel drive 2.5 miles one way from the parking lot to the beach. The beach itself is extremely picturesque, and you'll want to spend some time sunbathing or dipping your toes in the water. The main attraction, of course, is the green sand crystals that make this beach so famous. Remember to avoid the temptation to take home some of the sand or lava rock. It's bad luck. Number 9. Punolu'u Beach is the most famous of the black sand beaches, partly because you can often see endangered hawksbill turtles and green turtles. Hawaiians call the green sea turtle hunu, and they are an endangered species and protected by law. Never feed or touch sea turtles and stay 10 feet away from them. There's also some pretty fantastic snorkeling in the area and an underwater freshwater spring that gives the sensation that you're swimming in warm and cool water. Number 8. After the devastating eruptions in 2018 where many people lost their homes and some of our favorite spots like Kapoho Bay were completely destroyed, it's hard to find a silver lining. However, the new land that was formed from the lava flows and the current created just that in a new black sand beach. Unfortunately, we missed the sunset here, but we were able to take a nice stroll in the twilight. Also, keep in mind that the locals here have been through a lot. So, when you're driving here, don't drive like a crazy tourist. Number 10, Rainbow Falls. Rainbow Falls is a waterfall located in Hilo, Hawaii, and it's 80 feet tall. The falls are part of Hawaii State Parks, so there is no fee to see the falls. You can climb these stairs up to the left to get a view from the top of the falls. From the top of the stairs, you get a stunning view of the Wailuku River and the jungle around it. Back behind the waterfall are giant banyan trees. It's a kind of common tree in Hilo that pretty much always looks amazing. Number 11. Pu'ukohela Heiau National Historic Site preserves the last major Hawaiian temple. In a single generation, King Kamehameha the Great united a dozen warring territories into a single kingdom with trade and diplomatic contacts around the globe. This historic site is where King Kamehameha defeated his last remaining opponent. On this trip, I wasn't able to see it because of the government shutdown. Number 12. Lava Tubes there are a number of cool lava tubes around the island, one being Thurston Lava Tubes in the Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park. That one was closed when we went due to the eruptions. This one is on the Kona side just north of the airport. A lava tube is a type of lava cave formed when low viscosity lava flow develops and continues in a hard crust which thickens and forms a roof above the still flowing lava stream. It's amazing to walk around these lava tubes and explore the massive destructive power of Mother Nature. Number 13, Kona Coffee. Now genuine Kona Coffee is highly prized throughout the world for its full bodied flavor and pleasing aroma. Coffee trees thrive on the cool slopes of the mountains, rich volcanic soil, and afternoon cloud cover. Growing in this unique environment, Kona coffee has a distinct advantage over other coffees grown in other parts of the world. Coffee cultivated on the north and south districts of Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii are the only coffee that can truly be called Kona coffee. Number 14, Lapakahi State Historical Park. Lapakahi State Historical Park is a large area of ruins from an ancient Hawaiian fishing village. Visitors can learn about traditional Hawaiian culture through the partially restored remains of this ancient Hawaiian coastal settlement. This area was once used as a healing garden, and it's a fairly quick stop uh, on the way to Pululu Valley Lookout. Number 15, go to a luau. A luau is a traditional Hawaiian party or feast that is usually accompanied by entertainment. It's fun to learn about culture through song, dance, and food, and this one certainly hits all the notes. They normally show you about different games that they used to play, and they have different areas for the children to play. Alright guys, well hopefully you guys enjoyed my travel guide to the big island of Hawaii. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment below, and subscribe. 
Thanks again. I'm Josh with Active Tours. I'll see you guys next time.